Hello. Oh. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> oh Veronica. no. Hi. <laughs> I wasn't ready for the roll she of the R's. It's okay. Because welcome. This is episode 31 of the Novo Convo podcast, where two stupids make it hype. <laughs> and right. Well, mm, it's eh, hype. Er, it's well, hype. Mm, it, mm, keep, we'll talk about we'll it. We'll get into it. Because <laughs> I'm one of your hosts, Harrison Note, and I'm joined by Veronica Vo. It's me. It's her. <laughs> Uh, but if you're new here, we can just, whoa, that was weird. If you're new here, we both need an excuse to talk about anything that ranges from anime to comics. Some would say conversing. Because it's in our logo. Oh, yeah. Novo, Convo, Convo. Podcast. Novo, Convo. Yeah. yeah. N-G-O-V-O, Convo, Convo, Podcast. But normally, wow. Veronica, what's another yes. reason why we, we do this Because one of our friends does, is not caught up on this podcast. <laughs> But today, he is caught up today. Or he would be. So he, he could technically would be. watch. It. Yeah. We, someday <laughs> we'll, we'll give you the app. But before that, uh, you can watch every episode on YouTube.com or listen to it as a podcast by searching up Novo Convo, N G O V O Convo, on your podcast service of choice. In this We're episode, everywhere. or everywhere. Oh, what are we? We're on 10. We're on. Platforms. Okay, we're on a lot of things. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, but in this episode, we're gonna talk about Eternals, the movie wow. that literally just dropped. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, we're kind of recording this like the next day because we did want to kind of sit on it. You'll see yeah. why. We saw we'll it talk Thursday, about it. Yes. Friday. Yeah. This episode drops Monday. You get I'm the cool. timeline now. Bro, I'm glad you know the days of the week. Yeah. Some days, some days I don't. So it's okay. It all blends in. It all blends in. But as I said, uh, we're going to talk about Eternal. So if you haven't watched that movie yet, we're going to do, I'm going to try, I want to kind of do like a non spoilerly talk so you can kind of get mm -hmm. an idea of our thoughts at least. But we'll go in depth and talk about spoilerish things and we'll give like the signal, maybe. Yeah, but we'll yeah, do no, we like will. We'll a heart. Do. A heart will be the signal because <laughs> we won't be editing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Excuse me. Hey, it's on brand. Yeah, it's on right. brand. But again, if you want to go ahead and watch it after we talk about our, our spoiler free thoughts, hope Yeah, it's your choice. Yeah. yeah. Pause. To... Go buy some tickets. Go watch it. Like this video. Save it for later. Save That's how I do it. Later. But oh, and by the way, we are sponsored by Anchor, which we'll get to that later. We'll have an app break yes. later. But, Veronica. Harrison. Spoiler-free thoughts on Eternals. Before it came out, I think, okay, so, um, how this timeline went, and I think I could speak for both of us. Wow, water ad. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> off topic <laughs> but it's too late for so, monster if i drink I a know. monster i you'd no nope. would not be sleeping <laughs> nope <laughs> so shang chi or shang chi came out in september yes. and then two weeks after that movie came out there was like an eternals trailer that we reacted to and then we both got really excited about it because the trailer got us all hyped up and all this shit that we always are. <laughs> We're very easy people to believe. Yeah, we are. And we are, that's though. not a bad thing. No, Sometimes it can be. I, I, I look forward to the fun. Because like, at yeah. the end of the day, it's a Marvel yeah. movie, right? And so. it's all the ac action-packed and all yeah. that stuff. I was really excited. No, actually, wait. I am really excited about Angelina Jolie. She, yes she, during the trailer i was like oh yes oh my god yes <laughs> and then i saw the premiere and i was like oh kit ah john snow yes yes <laughs> all the yeses <laughs> and then the movie and then the movie <laughs> it was different i think that that's is... the best word that i could give that... eternals as yeah. a non-spoiler 
thing. Your non-spoiler thoughts? Yeah. And it was different. It was, it okay. was different. It was just yeah. different. It yeah. wasn't bad or good. I would just say... Different. Just different. Yeah, okay. I'll jump off that. It was yeah. different. It I can if you look online, you'll see that critics gave it it's the first rotten MCU movie. And yeah, it's at forty six percent. It dropped. Today. Yeah. But the audience what percentage audience is eighty six percent. I can I can okay, I can yeah. go with that. I believe yeah. that. Um yeah. I can see why this movie is divided. It can yeah. be um because when we walked out of the i will say our group when we went with our group the group was kind of like we had a consensus on like how we felt but it was like kind of divided overall like why yeah yeah kind of um i feel like how we felt it was all over the place usually it's like that oh majority is pretty solid feeling you know usually we're like oh my god can't wait for the next movie yeah but this one, we were just kind of like scratching our heads, I think. <laughs> yeah, and we'll talk more about it in our spoiler thoughts. But mm-hmm. overall, I thought it was an okay movie. I and maybe it's just because of what I I did, and that's the thing. I had no expectations, and if anything, they were very low. Like, at, t- typically for MCU, I expect the minimum MCU quality. But I think, kind of looking into the movie prior, I was like um i i didn't have that high expectation because one i will say the cat like okay i like the cast it was pretty Mm -hmm. good i think the issue is always this is not eternal specific i think this just in general i think it's very hard to juggle certain amount of people x amount of people on any show or movie yeah when it goes past like four people that are like main characters or like are on screen 90% yeah. of the time. It's hard to juggle their storyline. It's hard to juggle their lines. Like, yeah. put them together, put them apart. I There's have, just a lot going on. Yeah, I say it's an okay movie, but I think it did a very good job in at least given, like, the source material and the amount of information they had to convey. I honestly can't think of a better way of how I, I would do it. You know, like, because every time I'm like, oh, yeah. they could they. They should, it was bad. It, they did it bad, right? And I thought about it. I was like, they did it bad. There's some. Well, I want it. I don't know. It's not really spoilery, but I, but it can be. So I'm trying not to. Yeah. I I think the pacing was off, in my opinion. I agree. You thought, yeah, yeah. Because I think it could. I say it could have handled it better, but I can't think of how I would do it. Yeah. Because yeah. it every. Because it was hard to explain to people. I'm like, information is needed. It's just the amount of material that they tried to can't jam pack, or it became very jam packed. But also new characters, big team. Yep. There's yep. a lot of things that it was kind of already going against the movie, in my opinion, and I, that's why I wasn't super like I was always hesitant to be like be excited for the movie. But the trailer, when we, the trailers that we saw, I'm like, okay, this is this has potential to be, be really good. Good, yeah. Well, it could for be just that Marvel. The audience, it, this movie's two hours and forty minutes. That is, yeah. That is to me. <laughs> That is a lot. That's a lot of, of commitment movie. for yeah, a new a for a <laughs> new con- like new concept, new people and everything. Yeah. But overall, I thought it was an okay movie. Um, it was to me. There's that to me. There's always that typical Marvel standard MCU standard movie. Like it again. It's yeah. because this was different. Yeah. I, definitely. I think it's still a fun watch. Overall, like looking back. But it's corny otherwise. at some places. So a lot of places. But that was the places. typical MC. But that was yeah. like the typical. That to me is like typical MC though. Yeah. Like no, but I think like this one they like. Oh, you think it was like extra? Amped it. Yeah, it was yeah. extra in my opinion. But yeah, overall. But just to get through non-spoiler yeah. stuff, I think overall it was okay. Somewhat yeah. good. Like it. I agree with you. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. Yeah. It's but not a I movie still think, that I'd I, sit in again. <laughs> yeah, but I think it is possibly going to be important for later on. That's the, oh, that's definitely. the hard part. That's like I think yeah. like because one of my friends asked me, he's like, "So is this like a watch right away?" I was like, "No, I don't think so. I think if you want to hold off, you can." But I do think the information is important. You need to watch it eventually. Yeah. Yes, because this will bite. This will bite you in the butt if you don't. Oh, it will bite us they, in the butt. Yeah. it will bite us in the butt. It's gonna come back and just went. Boom. Slap us. 
but that's my non spoiler thoughts. Um, did you want to add anything else before we jump into spoilers? I think um, I'm going to round back to your pacing. It was just a slow burn compared slow burn. to yes. all the other Marvel movies that kind of like go into the main character, like one main character does yeah. their little backstory and Agreed. expands. Yeah. So this one's slow burn. <laughs> FYI. <laughs> slow burn. Slow burn. But that's all I have. Okay. We can go into... So we're going to just jump into spoilers. Spoilers! In five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Okay. I don't know. I'm trying to think of how to jump. Okay, so we, we mentioned this. Bad pacing. Because I think what was bad... Well, it was important. This is the hard part. It's important to know the past and the future. Or present day and past. Yes. But it always felt like they... Usually, I feel like transitions to that are a little bit better. It's choppy. I feel, it when I walked out choppy. of the theater, I said it was choppy. Yeah. yeah. Like jumping, it took me out of it. Like, when it happens, I'm like, okay, it, it is cool to see the yeah. Eternals. Like, okay, so going back to it is like the Eternals essentially is like, oh, starting from the beginning of time, essentially, almost. Yeah. Almost. They're like 7,000 years old. Yeah. But you get to see how they affect civilizations, like how things go about. You're like, oh, okay, yeah. they were there. It's really cool to see. That That's why I think the past is also just as important because you get yeah. some backstory on certain characters. You get some more exposure with each one of them because like we said, you were juggling, uh, what was it, Ajax, Icarus, Cersei, Dina, Gilgamesh, Makari, Kingo, Sprite, Phasis, and Druid. That yeah. is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. ten people. Ten people. Yeah. Ten people. That's insane. I know. It was like a whole. It's like they tried to do like Avengers times two because Avengers is like one. We already had to deal with like five, six people, but we already get the build up with them. So yeah. I get because it, they the have hard part movies is, of their own and stuff. Sec- yeah, et but this is like it's also like Guardians though. Like you have to introduce all those people because yep. they are the team. They are one group. Yep. I get it. Eternals is that group, but there's ten of them. <laughs> I, yeah, it was it was hard. I usually when Marvel transitions from like past to present, there's they're a, very there's smooth a nice, about yeah, it's it. Very, yeah, um, and I don't know if you got this feeling, but I think it was because they were jumping around different locations. Yeah, that to me really threw me off. Like they're already jumping around in present day. Yeah. And now you just, now you think about it. You're like, oh, it's 5,000 BC. And then it's like, oh, it's 2025 or whatever year it is, present day for them, for Marvel. Uh, I don't know anymore. Yeah, yeah it's like right. 2025, 2026, something like that. I don't know. And then it's, it's like, yeah. yeah. And then it's like, oh, it's 400 BC. And then you're but, like, so oh, it's 1945. They, <laughs> sometimes, so... I know what they did though. They do tie it to the person typically when they're like, "Oh, we're gonna go yeah. see them," mm-hmm. or like we. So it does. It makes sense, but I think the transitions were kind of iffy. I think it could have been done better that way. Like usually, there's like a better way of, but it was just a cut. Yeah. Most of the time, yeah. it felt like it was just a cut, and it wasn't like that fluid thing that we expect from some art. Again, it's just a director's choice. It's just like yeah, the, it is just a yeah, um, and she. she She's no who was it? Oh my god, that's it's the one Chloe right Zhao. There. Chloe Zhao, right? Okay, yeah. yeah. She's known for more of her like cine- cinematic stuff, which any, she did like, great on. Yeah, I'm gonna no, say that. those were they had great scenes. This was really good to watch, like beautiful, like it was um, so pretty to see everything. Yeah, so it was that's fine. It was there the, again. This is just uh, Nick picky or just like little things, but I, I, I that's just the one thing. It just always took me out of it. Right? Yeah, I amazing. agree. It, it it was just choppy. Yeah. And by the time it was like going towards the second half, I was like, oh my God, where yeah. am I? <laughs> yeah. So that's that was the biggest negative, I think, with the movie. And that's the, I'm trying to get some of the negative stuff out because I do want to talk about a lot of the yeah. positive things yeah, yeah. that I will say. Um, huge cast. One, I think by the end, I we I had some attachment. I think to like at least the main ones that survived, because well, I had a huge attachment to Gilgamesh. <laughs> I yes, so it was yeah same though because like um 
Donnelly did really good though. Like, I oh was, yeah, like, I oh was like, yeah. Dang. That man buffed uh, up extra. Oh, he did. He did. Yeah. Um, it was in. Endear- it was in. So, but again, you see how how they had to deal with a big. They had to mm-hmm. deal with a big cast because they had to group them. It's it's that typical thing when you have a huge group, it ends up not being the big group, but you have to like you pair, pair them or, off. or triple. So it's all it's very yeah. it's a typical like movie thing that they do. So it makes sense. It's fine. That's how that's easy way to like just yeah. But because it was like what um at the beginning it was Cersei with uh Sprite Sprite yep and then they met up with Icarus. Find out Ajax did. <laughs> yeah. Um, Bina then Gilgamesh, and Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh together. Makari. Makari and it well, was alone. Was alone. And she wasn't Drew. in the movie like 80% of the time because I, I almost yeah. forgot about her. I, well, almost I mean, almost forgot about her. I mean, she wasn't there. She yeah. straight up just, she did just disappear. I was like, yeah. Speedster's gone. Yeah, yeah so. no, I was like, the Flash lady's gone. Yeah. <laughs> And Drew went by himself. Like, yes, yeah. it was just like one of those. Like, it was the whole "let's find each other," which I'm like, that is fine. That's a typical, typical plot mode that you do with a group. Yeah, so it's yeah. fine. Yeah, it's just something. It's it's hard to juggle. I will give him that. The glaring, most glaring thing was the beginning for me. It's that, the title. Oh my the, god! The, not the, the Star title Wars, card, but like the Star Wars. Uh, See, like I always paragraph. thought like I get what Star Wars because back then. So the to give the listeners insight, or if you've seen it at this point, you you saw like how they had to explain things really fast, and to me that takes me out of a movie because I'm like, oh, like I again, you have to explain Celestials, you have to explain. Uh, yep. Eternal, so you have to explain deviant. Like they, they straight up yeah. did like the uh, we highlighted these are important people, blah blah blah. Yep. I'm like yes, but I it was just it's one of those I wish they would show and not tell. Like, yep. There are times when it was it felt when I felt cheesy. It was like they had to do a lot of exposition to explain stuff. I'm like wow, this is like an anime, but <laughs> but live action. It's movie. like one of those like yeah, it's weird. It was yeah. a choice. It was a choice. So. I think um, as soon as I saw that on the screen, I was in my head. I was like, "Oh, they have no idea what they're doing." <laughs> I, I, yeah, no. When I saw that, I was like, "Ooh, they don't know how." To, it's either. No, I mean, I, I think they had a choice though, because it was already a two-hour, and forty-five-minute movie. That intro, that whole section was probably going to be like twenty, twenty-five minutes of like just footage. Yeah. So I think they had to cut it down, if anything. I it mean, was it probably a, been a three hour movie, but it would have been a three hour movie at that point. So I get it. Yeah. I just don't like it. I ca- Same. because there it are only there are works moments for Star Wars. That's the issue. Well, and you know, the thing is back That's then the people they had to do that because it was too one, long. Th- it was like, too long. You had they long. had to cut down time because typically back then a movie was like at least an hour or at most an hour. An hour anything. and an hour and a half, yeah. yeah. Barely. Like yeah. I think it was always just hour I think it was more of an hour thing, right? sometimes um, yeah yeah so that's but like the, the very first movie George lucas had to do that because he had to explain yeah like you had to because also the technology you can't show too much oh yeah now now we can do the whole show and or show don't tell but back yeah. then you had to tell and not, you can't show right yeah. so that just makes sense but it just kind of again i was just like oh this is a marvel movie i didn't know what to expect i did not expect that one i was just it like, threw me off it threw me off like I actually zoned out because I was like, oh, I have to read this, but I'm like, oh well, I know this. Do I? Then I like went back. I was like, oh, frick. I know it. it li- so, no, I think it literally threw like our row off. I was like, what? Because I, I think I was about to look at you guys. I was like, wait. No, but I literally I did, but I didn't over. Look, I was like, huh? But I didn't want to look because I was like, wait, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. <laughs> yeah. This could be important. You never know. I so, know. That was just like one. It was a choice. Again, everything was different, and yep. we, I don't. I will say, like, when that popped up, I was like, all right, I I don't want to rate anything, but I definitely was like, three out of 10. And then yeah. middle was like, four out of 10. And then it was like, five out of 10. And I was like, five yeah. out of 10. Like, we'll talk about a little bit more. But I, yeah. I that's not like my, I that's, I don't usually rate movies, but this is like how I think, thought of it in my head. I'm like, okay. Because to me, a standard Marvel movie is like typically like a 70 or a seven. Right? Seven. Yeah. I agree. Six <sighs> or seven. You know what else was different? What? that 
just shook me was that what? small sex scene <laughs> between it, Icarus and um, Cersei. It was a thing. It, it threw thing. me off so fast. I looked, my boyfriend was sitting right next to me and I looked at him, I was like, is this, is this a, a thing? It felt, so that's, I didn't, I didn't think it was, I, when I watched it, I was like, okay, cool, this is a thing. But then I didn't think about it until afterwards. Someone was like, that it, I was watching either TikTok or I was like what, reading more into this, like doing, watch, listen to a review. And so I was just, they're just like, the movie just felt dragged out. And that also just felt like it was unneeded. It was like they, unneeded. Like, I think we got the idea that they were very in love. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, for 7,000 so, years. And I was just like, are we just doing this because Richard Madden was in Game of Thrones? <laughs> I mean, that and the fact that Disney had to hide his dick again. That was, <laughs> was that the Cinderella one? Is yeah. That yep. Yeah. No, Disney learned their lesson. That That's why all the... Um, all the shots were like... No, all the uniforms had the front thing. Yeah. 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 And all the shots uh, were like waist up for him. Yes. That's hilarious. Yeah. They they knew. They knew he just... <laughs> they knew the man's packing. <laughs> <laughs> too, too much, apparently. In the most innocent movie, Cinderella. like. <laughs> that was so funny. I they should have known. The man was in Game of Thrones. Okay, He was naked a lot. <laughs> was he? I don't remember him being... <laughs> Look at that much. He's naked. He and was. No. I just don't no. remember. Yeah, fair. All right. Times. But um Yeah, I that sex scene was not necessary at yeah. all. Cause yeah. they already had like their little like wedding and then like they were always like staring at each other all lovely. Yeah, I was like, I got it. I was like, yeah, I, got I got it. it. You guys yeah. you guys are you guys are it. You guys yeah. are in. And Hell then yeah. like what, five thousand years later or something, like he comes back, they all lovey dovey. I he was like, to, he he goes to her. He won't. He went to go get the milk. He never came back. <laughs> he never came back. Oh, and then man. you know, we got the idea. They just threw it in there, just just because. Yeah. But that's all my negatives. I don't know if did you have anything else though. I did not. I agree with most of those. I think the yeah. for me, sex scene was not it. <laughs> well with that because <laughs> i'm i'm just trying to think of anything else but with that uh we're gonna take a quick break and we're gonna talk about our sponsor oh my gosh we'll be back on this episode we are sponsored by anchor it is a free podcast hosting service that we actually use we've been using anchor since we've started the podcast it's because there are creation tools that allow us to record and edit the podcast right from our phones and computers. A huge plus for us is that Anchor would distribute our podcast to all platforms such as Spotify, Apple, iTunes, Google Podcasts, and many more. It really is everything that you need to make a podcast all in one spot. Please download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm, A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M to get started. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I really hope you cut that. <laughs> cut what? Mm, okay. <laughs> is this going to be a thing where like... Oh, anyway. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> um. Anyway, going back because we're going to just talk about the positives that I th- had. Because I did have... Po- like I said this was an okay movie, but it did have good moments where I had a lot of fun. Or just a lot of good things about the movie. Um, do you want me to start? Yeah, you can start. Okay. Um... I thought the action when it was when it did have action was pretty good. I was oh yeah like this was actually I will say the most superhero esque movie Marvel. I I say this as like all these people are DC, and it just felt super out there. Yeah, like I say superhero because one I do I am kind of biased. I do like DC a bit more. So to me, superhero esque stuff is like Superman flying around. Yep. speedster running around like it's yeah. like because we don't get that as much with mcu stuff what do you mean? because icarus they, was superman no that's what i'm saying like oh, <laughs> I'm, that's another thing we're getting that's yeah, another yeah, bullet we'll point you. i have um that's <laughs> that's a weird one i'm really confused um but no yeah it just had that soup super out of this world 
mo- like superhero like vibe. feel yeah feel yeah like like you have like all these like individuals that have like crazy superpowers and that's what it felt like while like I, I, we have that with mcu but like for instance like quicksilver is dead he's the speedster one of the sp- he's in wandavision i hate you so much <laughs> i really wanted <laughs> um man but he's dead so no that's gone. i agree yeah but, he's dead and then we don't really have like captain marvel sure but there's no lasers coming out of her eyes that much right no like not no. that much not that like much. he because uh icarus was like was using it like a lot and that just gave a good vibe and he's just super strong because he's then, superman yeah essentially okay. he really is though and yeah. then gogo is just super strong like just oh, straight yeah. up like yeah uh fucking tank um Sprite, uh, Sprite, uh, Sprite has like the invisible the, like, slash like copy. Like, we have that with copies. Loki though. That's why I was yeah. like, okay, cool. Yeah. There's but something that you can't. She's invisible. But then like Druig had like a weird, crazy one that I was like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Like the only control. level of like control we've seen is Wanda Vision. Yeah. Or Wanda. I say Wanda Vision. I meant Wanda. Yeah, Wanda. But Wanda Vision like that level, right? Yeah. But yeah. Um. You got Speedster. It was. Just, it was yeah. Makari. Yeah. Dina was Dina was uh, Angelina Jolie was like awesome with that whole sequence. I thought we weren't going to get enough of her. I want so, more. <laughs> but now we get more. I, I do. Yeah. Because I'm confused. Now. Does she not have? That's another thing. I'm, I'm confused. Does she not have like that um, sickness now at this I point? I know. Like they I just kind of brushed too. that off. Yeah, they, they kind of did. did brush that off. I was yeah. very, but maybe that's that'll be addressed next time. Yeah, they are returning. They so, are. They did yeah. confirm. Basically, they she has like another. two sides. Yeah. That she, and she's always fighting the one that like wants to come out and like fight all the other Eternals. But the thing is, they did. She did it because they were like, "Oh, it's about to end." But now yeah. that the world didn't end, maybe that just. Maybe it like she lost off. that. Yeah. Because t- I did it. think about that. I was like, maybe she lost it because the entire time she's like, "Everyone's gonna die anyway. Let me just kill yeah. them all." But now that they're not, maybe it just went away. With, with, at least with that. So. We'll see. There's Kit. Um, Kit Harrington. Kit Kit was a... Uh, but he was I, not in it. Uh, he was in it for like maybe 10 minutes max total. They, I think this was a jump off. He might... I think he might end up just having a series. Because I, I, I totally forgot he's Black Knight. Um, yeah. Same. Until your brother reminded until us. Until my brother. Yeah. And I was like, um, oh, that's right. He was Black Knight. Because yeah. I remember seeing, hearing this like a year ago. Yeah, something. same during COVID. Because I was curious who he was. Because mm-hmm. then someone's like, "Oh, he's actually a character, an important character, not just a love interest." Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, he's gonna have a. Uh, I think Mar was about to go medieval on us soon. Dude, I can't wait. I want that. Yeah. I really do. Like, we'll this talk is more like about the, that later because it we'll ties talk, with the credits too. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um. But yeah, and I will say, I, I did by the end enjoy a good amount. Like most of the cast, like I didn't have any issues with any of them really oh no i didn't either i thought it was actually handled very well i was like okay that's good um did you expect the twist with icarus no i didn't think icarus was going to be the one that would like turn but when he did i was like okay yeah this makes i was like all right makes sense you got me but it makes sense because the because when he went to go meet her or meet ajax yeah Ajax, he's I wearing knew. black the yep. moment he wore black i was like he's evil he's that's evil. it i know <laughs> that's it he had that look in his eyes too when they he did. when he uh was meeting up with ajak i was like uh-oh yeah. yeah here comes the twist because i was like at first i was like is it is it ajak that's gonna be evil or is it but i was like no it can't because i think she's the one i was like because they're like talking the about leader. how like yeah, they're yeah. talking about how like they were stuck there for so long, yeah. right? And I'm like, I think Ajax either messed up something or she's going against orders or something, yeah. but then end yeah. up just being like, yeah, no, they just stayed. So, or had to. Do you have a favorite? Favorite Eternals? Yeah. Ooh. I do. I'll have to bet I do. I mean, I really want to say Icarus. He's but- honestly... Like he, like he's honestly like. I think he's like a really well written character. Now that I'm thinking about it. Mm-hmm. So like, I do like him a lot. But like I think he Gilga, has that. 
Yeah, Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh is... might be up there. Might be up there. He's really funny. Like his <laughs> present day was funny. really funny. Yeah. I do you? I love seeing where they ended up though. I know. I, that's the. I did not ex- think about it, but it makes sense that him or uh, Gilgamesh and um, Thena, Thena went to Australia. Yeah. It makes sense because there's it, nothing out there, and they could mess up. Exactly. And no they one do whatever they them. want. Yeah. 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 I think those two. How about you? Who's your favorite Eternals? Kingo. Kumal, Kum, Kumail, I, mean, I don't remember how to say his name. Also, he did an awesome job. He got he buff. He got buff just to no, be funny. No, he got he, he got, got extra stupid buff. Stupid buff just to be hilarious. Like I loved, I loved that he essentially just made his own family to make to just give an excuse to be able to like act for yeah. his whole entire existence. Yep. I thought that was. Mm, mm. But also, he's a director. He's also. <laughs> He's produced a, uh, you, you know, internet. Inter- you- yeah. <laughs> I thought that was fun. There was How many views series, does it get? <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, just hearing him talk about, like, modern days. It's so funny to hear, like, oh, we're, like, they're, like, old, old. I don't want to say, like, old in time, like, medieval. It's not true. They're yeah, just, no, like, you know, eternally old. Um and just to hear him talk about, like, phones. Like, how Cersei's addicted to her phone. To her phone, Low key. Yeah. I thought that was hilarious. But... Kingo might be my favorite on that one. It's weird because I remember he was the one. Kingo was the one dude that I somewhat knew from Eternals, the Eternals line, and that he was actually a swordsman. He's like he was supposed to be like the most skilled swordsman. Oh, interesting. But obviously, it's not as cosmic as it could be. Yeah. So he ended. So, but I like his power. I thought his power was kind of cool too. That's I was cool. like, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got um, buffed just to use like four fingers. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> That's so good. Dude, if I will say this time and time again, if I could just be on Marvel's budget just to get buff, I'd totally do it. Right? Hands down. I would totally do it. Fund my fund my diet. Hell yeah. Fund uh, it all. My gym, my all. diet. Dude, give it to me. Um I let's see. Did you I, I've been hogging time. Any other points that you got, if anything? I have some other ones, but I just want to give you. I some. think like visually, it was super pleasing to me. Mm-hmm. Like everything was pretty. All the cities, like every time they went back in time, it was yes. just all like really pretty to me. Another negative, and I don't, I didn't say it initially because in my head, I'm like, it could have just been the theater that we were at. Do you notice how dark it was? Yeah. It sometimes I was like, there's moments when, like for instance, the um. The deviant, the the prime one or whatever, the powerful one, yeah, the mutant one. He was fighting Athena in the cave, and I was like, there was a moment when I it think like they were supposed sh- to, like, it was supposed thing. to be able to like allude that he's there, but I could not straight up see him. I was like, I can't tell if it's the lighting of the movie or the theater that we're at. No, so that's why I, I, no, I agree. I that's why I didn't really give it an actual. I didn't dock points for that, for instance, yeah. but it was it did hindered scared, the experience it scared the shit out of me though no oh it did no yeah, yeah yeah, it did but then there was moments when like even when they're into amazon or something like that, it was yeah. really dark like yeah, i think and i was like i can't i i really couldn't tell i i want i need I want to ask other people that did watch it because i that was yeah, the, the that was another thing that like took me dark out yeah so in the water too with the dog because i was like what that the was hell the other that? thing i couldn't tell if she this was like a lighting choice that she did or yeah. it was just like the theater so that's why yeah I, but i wanted i didn't ask i forgot to ask you guys after because i was like this is a dark hard to see movie <laughs> um no I but the that. big shots were oh they were really good they're really good i enjoyed it they're beautiful so good um anything else no i don't have anything else i think i'm just like I... super excited how this will slap us in the face in like two years oh <laughs> the the scale that's the thing the scale of this movie is very needed because oh my god the it, celestial that just it, popped up yeah. at the end yeah. they just showed like he's just like hey picks up them he's like okay. hey there gonna <laughs> then, kidnap you <laughs> but then the things everyone saw him and i'm like yeah but it's so funny to hear them they're like we've dealt with all this kind of stuff now what's new exactly it's true Than- thanos but, already snapped yeah you know, what could possibly be worse than Thanos besides Kang right now? 
celestials and and celestials dude they were about to they, uh, i i i thought we were gonna get bamboozled with the whole uh trailer because i was like there's some things that they haven't shown yet but then i was like but we still have a long time but to yes we do we still like, have an hour left yet. 30 minutes left oh you know what also i like face faces face those i thought he was funny Faceos? too Faceos? yeah 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 Atlanta. I liked him no. a lot. I liked it when Icarus like broke his table. He goes, Ikea, fall. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what is this? Um, um, what's the what's the material? Oh, my God. Keep the, I In my head, it's adamantium, and that's not what he said no, at all. No, it's not. It was the... Uh, vibranium. Kind of, vibranium. He's like, what is it, vibranium? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Ikea, fall collection. I was like, oh. Ikea, fall collection. <laughs> Dude, the, the impact that... I wouldn't say like they do a very good job in giving a quick enough backstory to give us any idea of each character, but also like what's affected them by living this long. Oh yeah. Like Faces like was so into like technology, technology and, like, boosting pu- everyone's pushing, like civilization. Pushing humanities, yeah. Boosting yeah. humanity's like potential. But then here she or Hiroshima pop yeah. happened. I was like, uh that yep, I believe it. I believe that's 100%. why he would like lose faith in humanity yeah like, dang but um and drew i get too like it sucks he's just like oh humanity's doing all these things like and i have to power he, to stop he, it yeah but i can't he's one handsome dude i would flirt with him oh yeah really <laughs> I, I yeah so. yeah yeah i think so because i recognize him from dunkirk but yeah um, I, I think he's okay i guess anyway, <laughs> anyway i drooled every uh, time i was like really okay wow we differ on this one we did (laughs) hey but i drooled when richard madden was on the screen too i mean he's an easy he's an he's an easy they're both very they're both when they saw each other though like it was like one of those you know like back behind the scenes they're like buddies because they were like on like on screen for a good amount of time for game of thrones but it was like wow there's like an actual like bro i'm sleeping with your girl and I was like, i'm sleeping with her and he goes but i've been with her for five thousand years yeah it's like huh child's play um representation really good oh yeah diversity diversity yeah. really good i'm yep. very proud and impressed like the the fact that um makari was a um, mute yeah very the, good uh, the actress like, is actually no yeah real, yeah she's death, actually like no i just thought about it i was like that's yeah. a good, good choice because i was like it was just really cool to see i was like oh they the fact yeah. that they brought in they her in sign Dutch. language yeah in the movie yeah. yeah 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 it was just i was like that's so cool like, same sex marriage and it's just open like, it was just how open. disney's and how disney's not gonna censor that internationally yeah. Yeah. i think that's good that's that's important why not go for it exactly um, doesn't hurt me <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't hurt yeah, but us yeah and then ethnic diversity uh, yeah, yeah everything's like the south asian thought, representation yep yeah i i liked it it was good yeah. um okay oh also i liked how deviants and eternals origins pretty much on par with the comics like I oh like, yeah this is good like, it is very good um and it was just nice to know how humanity progresses with the Eternals, like how they helped out and throughout can't. time, just throughout et time. Yeah. It was just cool to see, like, oh yeah, Babylon was the first one. It's like, okay, cool. And it was also cool to hear like how they have stories about each other because like Sprite would tell stories, but it yeah. makes sense because it's oh Ajax, here's a story about her. But Icarus flew cl- flew too close to this. Oh, and then at the end, he actually flew into the sun. I was like, oh ouch. Um, well, I mean, he deserved it. Yeah, hundred percent. One hundred percent. Just was really sad. It was it was sad that like he he is. Like, I wish he, he didn't do suicide. that. Yeah, he, I wish yeah. He, he essentially just committed suicide. But then it's like, but then what? I was like, I sat there. I'm like, how are they gonna deal with him? Like, yeah, he's gonna. Yeah. They're like, do they punish him? Like, do, what do you do? And I was, oh, okay, cool. It, it sucks, but yeah, yeah. But then, I, yeah, because then I was like, he's one of the most powerful. Like, if he stays that long, does he like go toe to toe with um, Captain Marvel? But, oh, guess we don't find out yeah just kidding well we won't find out now <laughs> yeah i was like oh never mind yeah but i think he made that decision because he loved uh yeah Cersei. yeah he, he couldn't it was, like handle he it couldn't bear yeah yeah the fact that everything that he did like, yeah. he was ready to kill all of them i was like yeah. dang 
cold blooded. Um, okay, weirdest thing. They can mention DC stuff. I was just gonna ask that because they mentioned Batman. They mentioned Batman. He's like, "Oh, who are you? Should I call you Clark now for Superman?" Yeah. I was like, I was yeah. like "You guys can joke about this." I'm. I. I was just surprised. I'm like, "Oh wow, this is like they're just nonchalant." Because then I've never heard DC talk about like Marvels. Obviously, Marvel, because well, yeah, yeah, because I think it's one of those Marvels big enough that they'll probably just take the hit. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Any fina- anything financially, um, yeah. They have so. the money. The they House the of Mouse has money. The House of Mouse has money. <laughs> it's has a money. it's an empire now, but no, yeah, really that was is. just the one thing. I was just it was funny. I was just really confused. I like I think that one I audibly was like, what? I know I was looking around. I was like, <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I just remembered another thing that was I hadn't I. It took me out, but I get it. It was funny. I think it was one of those. The movie was too long to have too many one-liners and cheesy jokes. You're right. As yeah. In like, um, Sprite had a moment when she was trying to talk. Like, she explained what made her yeah. angry and depressed. I was like, this makes sense. And she's like about to mess with everyone. And she's like, I've made copies of the mountains. I'm like, that's insane. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Drew comes in and is like, boom. <laughs> And then I think in the movie theater, it was super quiet. And I I was the only person that said, that was stupid. <laughs> I, 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 got more, I got more annoyed the more we, the longer we watched the movie. Because there were things where I was like, I'm, it's not that the mo- this movie was dragging. Not that I was not interested. But there were times where I'm like, is this needed? Was this handled the right way? I'm confused now. I don't know how I feel about this movie. <laughs> which is why I still think it's an okay movie yeah i feel that but the fact that the audience think it's 80 percent, i'm like all right sure that's fine overall i think it's a fun movie i get it but yeah. as like a comic person i was like this is a weird one it was it's weird. different like, it was different it it's was different. all i'm like is this all just because um cinematic choice we don't know we'll find out we'll like find out we'll later. look back and we'll find out like what people actually think but oh yeah oh, man all right. Should we hit up the two end credits? Yeah, we're, I was about to say, let's just end off with that. Two end Ooh, credits. Yes. We kind of touched on the first one. Celestials just straight up took, oh, this is the end. Celestials took the remaining people on yeah, Earth. Cersei, because technically, let's see. Cersei. Cersei, Kingo. Dana. No. Suck. No, no, no. Dana was, no, you're right. Sorry. I was thinking Dana was with uh, Makari and Drake. and Yeah. Sprite and, uh, got fe- taken. Faceos. Faceos. Yeah. It was just three, right? Just three. Because technically, Sprite's no longer an Eternal. They, She's they didn't human. take her. Yeah. They did not take her. Yeah. Yeah, their Big memories boy. are gone. Yeah, they're, they're they'll come back and they're gonna like just it's gonna be it's gonna suck for Dane. Yeah, oh yeah. But oh, but Dane. Okay. Wait, was that the first one? No, that's that? the second one. Sorry. First one was. Eros, who is Thanos' brother. Who okay, and then he's a celestial. No, so no, no, he so, is sorry, sorry. Eternal, he's an eternal. He's e- an eternal that was born on Titan. Yes. And he's also Harry Styles. Spoiler alert! <laughs> <laughs> I got spoiled already. <laughs> I almost got it was spoiled. so funny. It was so funny because like when we were watching it, all of a sudden I hear, "What the?" F-? I know. I was thinking, I, I was like, my, like "What I like, the?" Look to my left, fuck? and you're like off your seat. I know. And you're I was like, like, "No!" Before that? he, before no, he even like came up, I was like, you heard, "Harry you Styles." Heard him talk. <laughs> I was like, "Harry Styles." Is this Harry Styles? <laughs> but it makes I like some people were not happy with his um, casting. It makes but sense I, though because he sleeps with everyone. He looks like the guy that would like yes. Hey, he already looks boy. like that. He's, he's a, pretty a pretty boy. Like I, I, I think it's just some people are like oh he has that one direction stigma probably. But I think it was fine. I thought it was fine. No, it's fine. I was like it's fine. I don't. I'm not. A, yeah, because he's like the god of like essentially arrows is usually like the god of love and sex. So it's not surprising that yeah. It's Harry Styles. Yeah. Oh yeah. Arrows <sighs> thought, slash Star yeah. Fox. 
his other name was Star yeah, Fox. Yeah, slash Star Fox, like, that's his hero name. Yeah. yeah. And they introduced Pip the Troll, who is yeah. going to impact later on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow, it's crazy. Already? <laughs> um, that's how I feel about this movie sometimes. I will <laughs> be honest. Yeah, so they introduced Pip the Troll. Who's pretty cool in the comics? In the comics, yeah, he's yeah. I was when he said Pip, I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, I know. I saw that. Well, because like, he was holding the he was holding a hammer, yeah, think, or an axe, and I was just I was like, "Is it okay?" I was like, "Is this is this like Thor related?" Because I didn't know I how know. deep they were gonna go. Yeah. But then he announced arrows. I was like, "He's like, I am Pip." I was like, "Oh my god!" They introduced Pip. Pip the troll. So. But yeah, no arrows is now a thing so it the ending had that vibe because even the music i was like is this about to become like thor like ragnarok yeah of thunder type deal because he's that he can't give that vibe he air er, like totally can give that give vibe. errors can give that vibe he's gonna be like that like light-hearted like cracking jokes all that stuff and they're oh, like yeah. i'm gonna hate his existence get out of here yeah yeah i'm already calling it but it would be a nice. Tra- it, it was just cool. I was like, "Wow, they actually brought in arrows." So that's nice. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, I think we're more interested in the second end credit. Second one's also interesting because um, it's about Kit, who's Black Knight. Yep. They they he even like quickly says like I have a very complicated family. I was like, because the thing is in Black because Black Knight was also technically in here. Let me see. Um, he does. He is the love interest of Cersei later yes. on, so it makes sense. Yes. Um, and then you see him open up like this box of a sword, or yeah, sword. And what's interesting is that Marvel is about to go medieval on us, like I said earlier. Yes. What's interesting about this sword is that it's been passed down since King Arthur. <laughs> yes. Which is interesting. Oh, okay, that was also weird. I will say it's. Oh, no, no, no. It wasn't King Arthur's sword. That's right. Sorry. Okay. But it was around from that time. It, from that yes. time. Yeah. From that time. Sorry. But it's been passed was, down to his missed. family. Yeah. Yes. Which is crazy. Which but. is totally crazy. And then you hear a voice in the background that sounded like Kang. And it's you not thought Kang. It's, you thought, no, sound, you, you like, thought it sounded like Kang. I did no, not think it No, because it did. Because I was like, Kang? I was like, that Meanwhile, doesn't make me and, sense. Me and your boyfriend are like, No. Yeah, it's uh, Mahersha Ali. Did they confirm that? Did they yes. actually? Okay, they confirmed because that it was his voice. He is the new blade. No, no, but did they confirm it was him that said that, though? No, it's him. Like it was his voice? No, it's oh. him. Okay. It's him. Yeah. I believe it. He's blade. See, that makes more sense. Vampire's about to come in. Dude, it's weird because we have, like, um, what's, oh my God, what's the movie again called? Uh, uh, it's the. Uh, Oh my god, I can't think of his name either. It's the other Sony one that they just, literally just dropped the movie. Um, Morbius? Mor- Morbius, yeah. They dropped that too. And it, it, Morbius Jordan, is yeah. technically Morbius is technically tied in with Blade too. That's why I was like, this yeah. is gonna be weird. It's gonna be well weird. it's with Sony though, unfortunately. <laughs> was, yeah, so this is gonna be weird. But um Yeah. No, I I, I just heard that. I was I, some people thought it was Nick Fury. I was like, no. Not that Nick is Fury. not Samuel L. Jackson. Nick Fury, yeah, Samuel L. Jackson's busy on in space right now. <laughs> He has been doing... Nick Fury has been introduced since like 2009 or 8. Yeah. I was like, come on. They're not going to hide Samuel L. Jackson. Let's be honest. No. No. So. (laughs) It'll be interesting. I got excited for that kind of stuff. Like at the end, I was like, okay, you have my interest again. And again, Eternals is an important movie for like this kind of stuff because it is set up. It is set up because I think Celestials are about to... Screw throw in hard up. dude celestials and kang like all this stuff is like cosmic level like all this shit's happening it's like galaxy it's, and like yes. different universes Universe. yeah it's, we're about it's to happening get screwed <laughs> yeah we're about to get screwed so, so screwed <sighs> overall thoughts i thought it was an okay movie but there was a lot of fun parts i just think the the negatives that i have impacted my experience more i think that's oh yeah no i totally I agree it. Yeah, I would not want to sit in a movie theater and watch this again. It's, yeah, I don't think I'd go buy a ticket to watch it, but I would watch it if it's on. It's like one of those movies that it's like if it's on yeah. TV, sure. If people want to watch it, sure. Yeah. If yeah, yeah. if it's on the plane, 
if if I maybe to, to pass play that time long, to play yes. that long, sure, yeah. maybe. But yeah, overall, I think it was an okay movie. I think it was funny a lot of parts, and if you think it's fun, fine, that's fine. I I can yeah. see how. I think it's just more for me. My experience was kind of iffy because of the negatives just hit me harder. Oh anything. yeah, definitely. But yeah. we get to see more Angelina Jolie and Kit. We do. I'm just happy we get to see more of them in MCU stuff. This is great. It's awesome. Have good shit. I mean, Disney has money to hire they Angelina do. Jolie, so <laughs> they do. And I'll take it. It's it's worth it. And Harry Styles. Mm. Dude, people are just getting they in do. on this. I, it's it's a fun time. I know some people are saying like, oh, if an actor gets into MCU, their career is like, eh. Like, is I will be stuck to that for forever. But eh. I don't think it's a bad thing. It's, it's not but a bad I'm biased. thing. Yeah. I'm biased. Yeah. All right. Uh, any other closing thoughts, though? I got nothing else. Nothing else? All right. Nothing else. Well, with that, thanks for tuning in. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, and Twitch. We're still playing that. <laughs> At Novo Convo. Um, if you're on YouTube. Convo. <laughs> if you can't spell your last names, or if you don't know, you know, the whole spiel. <laughs> the whole spiel. But if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button and the notification bell to get updates for when we upload. <laughs> and subscribe. It's a big red button. Big red button. Yes. Right down there. It's subscribe. probably below me. If I, no, no, it's below you. It's below subscribe. you. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. And yeah, just let us know how we're doing. Uh, what you want to see next. If you like certain formats, let us know. Otherwise, want us to watch, read, play, uh, uh, all the uh, above, perhaps. You don't say. Cough, cough. <laughs> but yeah, just let us know. We appreciate all of you. Yes, we do. But yeah, but 